today we will be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2009 Audi Q5. These are going to be the three best options when wiring your vehicle. The Takancha ZCI Circuit Protective Vehicle Wiring Harness, part number 119250KIT. The Takancha Upgraded Heavy Duty Modulite Circuit Protective Vehicle Wiring Harness, part number 119190KIT. And the Kurt Powered Taillight Converter, part number C59236. Now all three of these are going to provide you with the proper lighting to your trailer. All have a four pole flat connector. All run directly off your battery. Also, all three have a modular box to protect your vehicle from any feedback from your trailer. Now all three of these are going to have all your necessary hardware to properly install it on your vehicle. Now all three of these are going to give you a 7.5 amp for your tail lights. Your Takanchas are going to be 4.2 amps for your stop and your turn signal. Whereas your Kurt is going to have a 5 amp for your stop and turn. The ZCI Takancha and your Kurt are both going to come with a 15 amp fuse. Whereas this Takancha is only going to come with a 10 amp fuse. Now all three of these are going to install and live with inside your hatch. When you're ready to use it, you just hang your four pole out over your bumper. Now when it comes to connecting your wiring to your vehicle, ZCI, there's going to be no splicing required, whereas these two, you have to splice into the existing wiring. Now with the ZCI, all you do is when you locate the correct wire, you just lay it inside of here, close the cap, and it reads the wire. This is going to be great because there's no modifications you're going to have to do to your vehicle's wiring system. Now these two are going to come with quick splice connectors. However, I do recommend replacing these with butt connectors, which you can find on our website. Now when running your wire to your battery, these two kits are going to come with a standard butt connector. Whereas your ZCI is going to come with a heat shrink butt connector, which is going to protect your connection from any moisture. In summary, for ease of insulation, I would go with the ZCI. You're not going to have any vehicle modifications, which means you're not going to have to splice into any of your existing wiring. Now if you're using a trailer with a few more lights on it, I recommend going with the Kurt. It's going to have a few more amps to run to your stop and your turn signals. As far as hardware, I'd have to go with the ZCI and its upgraded kit. It's going to provide you better protection for all your connections. We hope this helps you on deciding which wiring best suits your needs. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com and leave us a comment if you have any questions.